Before starting the video, click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Hello and welcome to House of Commerce. So today's lecture is about break-even analysis and we will discuss what is break-even, we shall discuss all the formulas used in it and we shall solve several questions. So stay tuned and watch till end so that you may come to know what is break-even analysis. So what is break-even? First we got to know this that it is a point where the company makes no profit and no loss where the total revenue is equal to the total cost. So that point is called break-even point where the company earns no profit and suffers no loss. Okay so very fast we got to know that what is contribution margin. So we have discussed it in marginal and absorption costing so whosoever hasn't seen that lecture so they can see. So let us take a look on it again. The contribution margin means sales minus variable cost. So this will give us contribution and minus fixed cost this will give us profit but this is not that important to know as the contribution is. So you have to learn about the contribution because this will help you in whole of the lecture till end. So sales minus variable cost give us the contribution. Then on second contribution sales ratio. As you all know that contribution means sales minus variable cost. So here we have to take contribution per unit. So sales price per unit minus variable cost per unit. This will give us contribution per unit and we should divide it by selling price per unit. So we will get the contribution sales ratio. Then we got to know break-even point expressed as number of units means the company wants to know that how many products we can sell for making no profit and no loss. So this method this formula is used by the company to know about how many products will give no profit and no loss and shall be equal to the cost. So for doing this the company has to divide total cost by contribution per unit. Then we got to repeat it once again that contribution means sales minus variable cost. So let us solve it by using a question. A company makes a single product that has a variable cost of sales of 12 rupees and a selling price of 20 per unit. Then budgeted fixed cost is 600,000. What volume of sale is required to break even? Now we have to take break even in revenue. We have to divide total fixed cost by contribution sales ratio. Now how to take contribution sales ratio? We have discussed it before that contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit. So we have here the contribution selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. So this will be 8. So we shall divide 8 by 20 as we have selling price per unit so we will get 40 percent then we will divide the total fixed cost here divided by the contribution sales ratio here and we shall get 1.5 million sales revenue so this is the revenue where the company will face break even no profit and no loss. So for earning the profit company has to sell more than 1.5 million. Margin of safety. Margin of safety means the difference between the budgeted sales and the break-even amount of sales. So this can be expressed in the units and this can be expressed in the amount of revenue. So the margin of safety is actually used by the company to estimate that how many chances are there to suffer the loss. So the more the margin of safety is, the more, uh, less 
are the chances that the company will suffer the loss. Now let us see to, uh, how to calculate the margin of safety. Margin of safety in units is calculated as margin of safety units and divided by budgeted sales in units. So as we have discussed before that margin of safety means difference between the budgeted sales and the break-even sales. Then margin of safety in revenue. Margin of safety revenue means budgeted sales minus total sales revenue divided by budgeted revenue multiply by 100 and then you'll get the rate that what is the margin of safety rate now let us solve it by the help of an example a company budgets to sell 25,000 units of its product now this is budgeted sale of units then this has a selling price of 16 and a variable cost of 4. Then fixed cost for the period are expected to be 240,000. Now how to calculate the break-even point? We have discussed it before that fixed cost divided by contribution margin. So we have a fixed cost of 240,000. So we have put it here then divided by contribution margin so what how to calculate the co contribution margin it is selling price per unit minus variable cost so we have deducted 4 from 16 so we have got contribution per unit then we'll divide the total fixed cost of 240,000 with contribution margin and we'll get the break-even units of 20,000 then we have budgeted units of 25,000. So how to get the margin of safety? Budgeted sales minus break-even sales. So we have got 5,000 units. Now we had the formula of margin of safety that margin of safety units divided by budgeted sales units and multiply by 100. So we have margin of safety 5,000 then we shall divide it by budgeted sales 25,000 and multiply by 100 then we'll get 20% of the budgeted sales. This means the sales volume can be up to 20% below budget and the company should still expect to make a profit that it has a higher percentage of margin of safety so the company has less chances to make a loss then it should sell at the same budget and at the same level now let us see that how to make a target profit that company expects that what should be the profit and it sets a goal it sets a target and how to earn that for calculating that the company uses this formula total cost plus targeted profit divided by contribution to sales ratio and we have discussed it before that contribution to sales ratio means contribution margin divided by sales per unit and it shall give us contribution to sales ratio so once the company has calculated the amount then it shall divide it by sale per unit and it shall get the units that how many units should be sold to get the targeted profit now let us solve the targeted profit by the help of a question. Here we have an example. A company makes and sells a product that has a variable cost of 5 and sells for 9 per unit. Budgeted fixed cost is 600,000 for the year and the company makes profit of at least 100,000. The sales volume required to achieve the targeted profit can be found as follows. That we have a fixed cost of 600,000 and targeted profit of 100,000 and a total of 700,000. Now let us see that how to solve it. Now we have to find the contribution first. So how we will find it that we have 9 rupees selling price and 5 rupees variable cost. So we shall deduct 
5 rupees from 9 and we shall get 4 as a contribution per unit. Then we have to add cost plus targeted profit as we have discussed before that targeted profit plus fixed cost divided by contribution sales ratio or you can divide it by contribution per unit so fixed cost plus targeted profit is equal to 700,000 divided by contribution per unit and we shall have 175,000 units as a targeted profit therefore this uh, this sale of units shall be multiplied by sale per unit and we shall have the targeted profit sales then alternatively you can solve it by contribution sales ratio as well so how to get it contribution divided by sales then you will get the contribution sales ratio then sales targeted profit plus contra uh, plus fixed cost 700,000 divided by contribution sales ratio and you will get the same answer as you get by contribution per unit now you can multiply uh, divide this sales by the selling price per unit and you shall get the number of units which can be sold to earn the profit so that was all for today's lecture if you have any query you can put into the comment section and we will make as part two as well where we will solve the questions till then good luck